Hey. There we go. One second ticked over and now it's recording as it should be. Hi, I'm Katana the Lightning Cat, YouTube and your favorite idiot. Or at least that's what I delude myself into saying, not believing. <laughs> anyway, I had a thought. And it was simply the speed at which the Pac-Man virus has spread is a very interesting indicator of the hygiene, the, the general sanitation and hygiene of the average individual. And it's spreading apparently faster in the United States. I haven't kept track of globally. Come to think of it, I don't have enough resource material as far as uh, stuff I've already viewed. Anyway, the rest of the world aside, why not just focus on where I am? It's a very clear indicator of how clean people really are. And apparently, not very much. I'm not average by any means. <laughs> no, not average. Except in one particular thing, but that's several years out of date. Ah, screw that. It's too out of date. Anyway, I, I've worked a job at uh, a community college out in Lawton, Oklahoma. And I was a janitor. And uh, the cleaning uh, supplies that we were using on the job were more eco-friendly than your standard bleach and um, chemical cleaners because they were cultivated bacteria that were designed to clean up uh, several um, human excretions, shall we call them. And that was our standard. Now, with this Pac-Man virus, I don't believe that a bacteria cleaner would be advisable or, or um, desirable because uh, those bacteria aren't designed to attack a virus. Neither would I advise any industry, uh, pharmaceutical, uh, genetic, or otherwise, to attempt to re-engineer those bacteria to fight against uh, viruses because they were they were exclusively for breaking down enzymes and protein spills and stuff of that nature so I, I would advise temporarily suspending the use of those in favor of manufactured soaps bleaches uh, isopropyl uh, alcohol, commonly called rubbing alcohol, or is, it, or is it the more scientitious name to call it isopropanol ethanol, or is it an ethyl? I'm unclear on that subject, but I know it's called isopropanol, so I would advise using those. Um, that's for me personally. Well, I used to be able to, because it wasn't being bought up, I used to be able, because the, the food prices hadn't skyrocketed, I used to be able to, every three to six months, actually get uh, an appropriate amount of isopropanol to use for disinfecting my living environment. 
and like once or twice a year, I would actually routinely um, dump about a bottle or two bottles, depending on how I felt and the season, into my bath water. And I would have an extravagantly diluted uh, rubbing alcohol bath along with my normal soaps. Now I can't do that. Eh. My immune system is a crazy beast anyway. Plus I'm immune to this Pac-Man virus. And magic. Yeah. Anyway, all I'm saying is only going to delay the inevitable. Every 100 years on this planet, to the best of my knowledge, there's been a surge of a new virus that wrecks havoc. And this one is, well, I'm estimating between 30 and 80 percent of the human population is going to be killed by this one. Yeah, but that's just an estimate. It's not real until it's proven by waiting and seeing. Which is incredibly difficult for all of you, I know. It's like watching a train wreck only from inside one of the boxcars. You can't really get out of your oh shit position until the train is finished coming to a complete and stop of the wreckage. Which is a, a clusterfuck of a shit show, I know. It's... Wow. Anyway. What else can I say? You know what? This is a good time for you to go to any of a myriad of YouTube channels that have videos. I know of one because I haven't looked for any other. YouTuber Niall Red, and and you can go and watch his video on how to make soap at home. And if you can afford to you can go and make some soap at home and do take your time making it because there are there are some applications for regular soap in this situation it's not gonna stop the inevitable it's just gonna delay it Yeah. Satan's the one who made this virus. It's only going to delay the inevitable. I can't help you. It's out of my hands. I tried. Fucking years I tried, but it's out of my hands. So, th there you go. Me, with inanely insane ramblings. What else is there to it? Oh, yeah. That's, that's another thing that uh, the, the mayors and, and governors should be doing. Is uh, promoting people with their get-togethers to go off and... And, and make cleaning products. Oh yeah, and as far as those disposable masks go, if you got some hand sanitizer, like this, or some isopropanol, or just, you know, a, a bar of soap, soak it in soapy water for a couple of minutes. Mix your, uh, Mix your isopropanol <clears throat> with water so that you get a 70% to 30%, 30% being water, or if you already have a bottle of 70%, just 
get the get that night mask disposable mask nice and uh, moist with the, the isopropanol that'll keep it going for a little while so you don't have to keep replacing it daily but anyway the, all of this stuff I'm spewing out is just gonna delay the inevitable it's, it's not gonna stop the inevitable Because there's, there's always, uh, how many th times has this thing mutated? It's mutated more times than the flu. And it's a known truth that the flu vaccine is one year behind. So by the time you get the flu vaccine, the current strain is two years ahead of the vaccine because it's a year behind I know the math seems off on that one but it's sound because it takes them a year to start working on it this thing is mutated more times than the flu not as fast as the common cold well, wouldn't that be fun? So, vaccines aren't going to be viable. It's not practical. It's it's not economic. It's not um, logical. And herd immunity seems fucked because I've seen <laughs> some videos talking about the uh, what is it? The proteins. The antibodies, which are collections of proteins, disappearing completely within a, a week or so in the host that developed the antibodies. D does anybody know if antibodies naturally just disappear like that for any other virus that your body has gotten immunity to? Because... Uh, I haven't seen any information like that pop up recently. Talking about it or exploring the logistics of it in any means. Okay, I'm done rambling. Till next time. <laughs>